Hey there, Leo. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Leo, for the first half of December 2023. Let's get right into it. Leo, hope you all are doing well. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit those like, share, and subscribe buttons. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. And just a reminder, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Leo. Anywhere in your chart, really, or if you're just checking in on a Leo, all are welcome here. It just might not resonate with everyone. But welcome, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Leo, what is going on? What's going on with Leo spirit? Let's get a moon oracle card for the sign of Leo. What's going on, Leo? Oh my goodness, a lot. Let's take a peek. Nothing is yet set in stone, the mutable moon. Look at all those choppy waters. Wow, some kind of change coming in for you, Leo. Hold your vision, the fixed moon. Oh my goodness. Hold that dream, hold that goal in your mind. Leo, don't let go. A time to give rather than take. That's the new moon in Virgo. Time to give rather than take. What does that mean, spirit? And emotions are running high. Leo, what's going on? What's going on? And nothing will come of the situation. <laughs> I'm seeing those choppy waters, those big dark mountains. Look at the darkness and the void of course moon and, ex and emotions are running high. Good God, Leo, what is going on with you? Let's take a peek here. Let's take a peek here. Some kind of turmoil, some kind of, <clears throat> huh, some kind of choppiness. Bring love into the situation, Leo, the new moon in Aquarius. Look at this beautiful card. See, love fixes everything. Let's bring some love into the situation. But let's see what's going on. Something kind of dark, something really heavy for you, Leo. Let's see what's going on. Animal spirit guide. What kind of animal spirit guide is up in the ether for the sign of Leo? Spirit, tell me about Leo. What's going on with Leo? What kind of animal spirit guide? Scorpion. Wow, Leo. Edgy. You're anxious. You're uh, uh, fearing the outcome here. There's some kind of uh, angst going on with you here. Let's see what this is all about so we can clear it out for you, Leo. Something going on here. It has to do with your fire. has to do with your dreams. I think you're just getting uh, uh, stuck. You're just getting stuck in the doubt of it all. The swan. Look at this Gemini energy coming in. Leo, you're starting to see the other side of something. You're starting to get a glimpse of how things could be or how things should be here. Let's see what's going on with this. You're mirroring something. There's some kind of mirroring happening here, some kind of uh, deflection or blame, some kind of blame happening here. What, what's this all about, spirit? Give me a Zen tarot card for the sign of Leo. <laughs> wow, Leo, you are in the dark. I'm in the dark here. <laughs> Picturing Al Pacino. Good God, Leo, let's get you out of here. There is light. There is hope here. You've just got to search for the light here. Search for the answer here. Remove some of the emotions. You're very emotional about this. <clears throat> so detach a little bit from some of the emotions because look at this, Leo, success, success. So hang in there. Hang in there. There is light at the end of this tunnel and awareness. Oh my God, you're coming in at such a deep understanding and knowing what's happening here. You're starting to see through the veil, see through the confusion, see through the uh, doubt here. Yeah. All right. Let's see what's going on. What are you thinking about right now? What are you thinking about? What's on your mind right now, Leo? What's on your mind? The Six of Pentacles. Look at this again. Again, you've got the Six of Wands and the Six of Pentacles with the reciprocity. This is about your fire, your income, your stability here. The exchange, the exchange. Something's been pinched off. You've been uh, really isolated from achieving something here. It was all for divine purpose. Leo, you've got to hang in there. There is light here. There is light coming to you. Some kind of answer coming to you really eases up these emotions, but you got to ease up on the emotions first. You got to detach from the outcome a little bit here. Things are really off balance right now, but it's that, it's that stretching. It's that, uh, uh, extension, that extension of resistance that's happening with you right now, Leo, to propel you into this win, to propel you into this success. Wow. 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 What led up to this? What led up to this for Leo? What's going on with Leo? Recent past.
look at this the fool and it flew out in reverse you were offered this new beginning this new start this uh, let's do this let's do this from a different angle let's go uh, somewhere else this big move this big change came up for you and then stop stop so now you're wondering was this even meant to be should i have done this in the first place what am i doing <laughs> Leo, 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 it's all for purpose. It's to propel you into this new year here. We're all coming into 2024 here. Brand new beginning. The timing wasn't right. It couldn't have happened at the timing that you thought it should have happened. So detach from the outcome here a little bit. There's a huge new start coming for you. And it's not a false start. It's not uh, from... Uh, uh, extreme, extreme dark, darkness to blinding light here. This is an acceleration. This is a, an advancement that had to happen in this time. It's all in divine timing, all in divine timing. What is crossing Leo in the mind space right now? What's getting in Leo's way? What's getting in Leo's way here from taking this new jump, this new start? What is getting in the way in the thoughts? Four of swords, you're resting, you're taking a break. And the three of swords, Leo, my God. God, you're heartbroken over this. Are you at least do you think you are? It's that dark, dark, dark time before the sunrise here, before the light is shown to you here. It's just that pressure that builds on us because we have this expectation of something that's going to happen. We've taken the right steps, we've taken the right moves, we followed our gut, we followed our heart here. And then bam, there seems to be always, always at the end of these really hard journeys or these uh, tough marathons and these, when you're at your wits end here, there's this gigantic wall put in front of us. It's just that last test, that last push, that second wind, that, uh, uh, that spirit uplifting at that darkest moment when you are just seriously done. You're about to give up. Here comes that miracle. Here comes that chance, that chance. I don't know what that is, <laughs> but you're there. You're there. You're at the darkest night of the soul right now. You've got to uh, wait for this energy to shift or shift it out yourself and um, detach from the emotion of it. You've got to be more practical about this. You've got to step away from the it has to happen, from the crucialness of this. Oh, Leo, Leo, you're going to be so happy. You're going to be so happy when this start uh, flips around for you. And it will because of the intensity of this. It's so intense, so intense. All right, Spirit, what's your advice in the mind space for Leo with this intensity? Oh my God, Leo. <laughs> Look at this. The tower. The tower is Spirit's advice. The tower is it. Let it go. Release it. Release the outcome. Detach from the outcome here. Wow, wow, wow. You are letting it go really, really going blank. There's a moment, there's a moment, Leo, where your mind is going to completely clear. It's that reset moment for you. Really, really savor in this. You're going to know what I'm talking about. There's going to be a moment in your meditation or in your quiet time. It's got to be silent time. It's got to be between you and spirit, Leo. Just shut your eyes, let your mind go completely blank. It's the reset moment. You're about to be reset. You're about to be reborn in your thoughts here, in your mind here, letting go of the disappointment, letting go of the doubt, letting go of the insecurity, moving into the new year with confidence, moving into the new year, knowing exactly what you're capable of and where you have come from. Oh my Leo, what's in your heart space? What are you feeling right now? Spirit, tell me what Leo is feeling right now. What's Leo feeling? <laughs> yes, the high priestess, look at this. You're looking for that light, looking for that answer. You are right at the altar of this, Leo. You're right at the precipice of this. It's the starting off point. It's the jumping off point. Yes, yes, you see it all. Wow, you're really, really feeling this. That's why it's making you so emotional. You can feel how close you are to this and you're feeling big change coming. 
feeling big change. And that's always scary for us because we don't know what's coming. So it's just like, I feel something coming. I don't know what it is. So you're just fearing the worst. You're just fearing that worst case scenario outcome that you've been dreading for a really long time. And it's the complete opposite. If you could just go blank and reset it, it just needs a reboot. It just needs a uh, realignment here in your thoughts because you can feel this. You can feel this coming. What led up to this? What's this all about in the heart space? The five of pentacles, the not having enough, the being left out, the, the, the journey itself, it got so overwhelming, so exhausting. So uh, poverty, just poverty. There's not enough love. There's not enough money. There's not enough uh, food. There's just, there's just not enough. There's not enough. It's kind of almost this wanting to hoard it, uh, but not even having enough to do that. So just this, it was a massive, massive ending, 23 itself, Leo, for you is a massive ending, a massive closing out of the way you used to feel about things, the way you used to think about things. You are brand new after this reset, brand new, moving out of that poverty mentality that uh, just holding yourself in contempt for every decision, for every thought, for every uh, action. You just really, when those false starts just fell apart with those, with that tower, it just broke your heart. It just broke your heart. It was just like, oh my God. And I thought I was right in this. I thought I was doing the right thing. You're just always so true to your character, Leo. And it is, it is. It was all leading you to this. This is like the grand finale, the closing out here. Page of Wands. Look at this. Look at this new beginning again, but you're being led by spirit. There's a spirit guide here. Leo, come this way. Come this way. Let's try this. You're a very much a minimalist now. You don't even need much. You don't even need much to be happy. You're just like, geez, just once, spirit. Just once would be nice, right? Here is that just once time coming for you, Leo. This is a once in a lifetime transformation with this fool in reverse and the tower closing out this sorrow, this uh, insecurity, this really not... Um, thinking you have a grasp on things or things just kept slipping through. It was all for purpose. It was all to drive you to this point, to this point of uh, giving up because this is an absolute surrendering to spirit. This is you giving it to God and letting go, a true let go, a true release here. Moving on, moving on here. Future, future, future feeling for Leo. Spirit, tell us what the future emotional uh, situation is for Leo. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at this. I don't know what all this stuff on my thumb is. Ignore that, Leo. The hermit. The hermit. Look at this beautiful Virgo energy coming in. Oh, Leo. 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 This is a time out. A time out. You've got to find that escape. You've got to find that place where you can really shut down and not worry that the phone's going to go off or someone's going to call out your name. You've got to find that quiet spot, that minute, that minute. You just need a minute with extreme privacy that that's, uh, you're not going to be uh, somewhere in your mind aware, aware of your surroundings here just for a minute. You've got to reset. You've got to reboot here. Let yourself reboot here. This is so beautiful. What a glorious, glorious healing reading for you, Leo. This is beautiful. Right at the end of the year, right when you can really just heal it, just heal it once and for all. Spirit, what's your advice? What's your advice in the heart space for Leo? Oh my God, this major arcana, Leo, it's blowing my mind. Look at this with the Hierophant. Wow, the elevation up, the, the reward here, the the rising up here. You will rise up here. You will see the bigger picture. You will see what that was all about. It's like you've just been rolling down that hill, just getting beat up, just getting uh, bruised and broken here, broken time after time, broken. And then you're just standing up. You're taking that deep breath. You're looking up that mountain you have come from. Leo, you're down. You're, you're down in the valley now, and there's a brand new path ahead of you. Look at this beautiful path that spirit is leading you out of. It's just the, you letting go, you letting go and allowing yourself to take the, take the jump now, take the jump now. Yes. Yes. With this beautiful hierophant. Oh boy. The Pope steps up the Pope. Oh, I love this. I love this. 
what's in the foundation of this this wants to come out what is this all about my god with all this major arcana you getting out of there look at this the six of swords wow i'm moving on i'm moving on and getting out look at that full moon energy that confusion that overwhelmment that not knowing where you're going it's feel, it felt like your inner compass was broken you it had to break it had to break it had to recalibrate leo you have recalibrated you have changed you've massively transformed here so you are recalibrated you are ready to go you're plugged back in the only thing that has to happen now is a reboot you got to clear the system you got to clear the cash you got to clear the memory now Look at this with the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, wow, wow. Victory is yours, Leo. The money is yours. The Eureka is yours. The I did it. I did a thing. I did a thing. And this is very, very big thing with this major arcana here, Leo. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, my God. God, am I loving this. So you move from poverty into... Uh, really feeling safe and secure and that you can find money anywhere, that it's always available to you, that it was never about uh, your worthiness. It was never about um, your value in this world. So you're really moving out of the poverty mentality, not only in your heart uh, from feeling like you're not good enough or you're not worthy enough or you haven't learned something yet. Maybe you felt like there was always this lesson you had to learn or you were being punished in some way to, you know what? Things are working out for me. There is money available to me everywhere. I am very skilled in the things that I do. I'm very talented. I can really do this and insert your best skill here, Leo. And that just brings in this whole new mindset, a real letting go from holding yourself responsible, really valuing who you are by what's in the bank account here. You're really removing that. You're really stepping aside and going rogue on that idea that you have to uh, prove who you are. You're really stepping back into yourself here, your true authentic self here. And then money just flows to you, just flows to you. Just that poverty mentality just dissipates back into the shadows, back into the corners where it belongs. Let's see what's crossing you in the foundation. What's crossing you? The page of swords. Look at this. Somebody's got their eye on you. Somebody really watching you. Maybe that's that pressure you've been feeling or there's somebody counting on you. That could be perhaps there's somebody counting on you and you feel a lot of responsibility to um, take care of people like we all do. Wow. Wow. That's so much pressure though. You've had a lot of pressure on your shoulders here, Leo. You've had uh, a lot of these things you've placed on your shoulders because you're a very noble, you're a very noble soul, Leo. Oh, whoever I'm talking to, very noble, very wise. Uh, but your life's about to change. Your thoughts are about to change on your worthiness, on what this year has meant to you. There's just this look back, this peek back with the Six of Swords. And you're just going to see how far you've come. You, you've come so far. Far, Leo. 23 has been a huge, huge uh, learning curve for you. All right, future foundation, future situation, and then we'll get some clarity. I want some clarity on this massive change. Four of Wands. Look at this victory again. Victory, success. You did it. There's just this huge sigh of relief coming for you, Leo. This this feeling safe again, this feeling like you, you know, uh, uh, what you're capable of or who you are again, this just trueness, this true authentic you stepping out of the dark here, stepping out of the shadows here. It's just absolutely beautiful. God, is this a beautiful reading for you? This awareness coming into you. Wow. The marriage contract here too. And the Hierophant is all about marriage as well too. So maybe you're committing to someone. Maybe you're really going all in on a commitment now where you were very fearful to do that in the past here, but you're letting a lot of your fears are just going away. They're going away. But yeah, this is all about a wedding, all about a marriage here or a contract, a contract for sure. Spirit, what's your advice in the foundation? What's your advice in the situation here for Leo? What's your advice? What's your advice in the situation for Leo? Wow. Oh my God, the Ace of Cups. 
Leo, Leo, this is a wish come true. This really fills your heart up with joy and satisfaction and accomplishment here and victory here, success, love. Absolutely. You're opening up your heart to love again, allowing yourself to be vulnerable again, letting people in again. Uh, before, I think you were held up there, held up there and really protecting yourself, really protecting yourself. You felt something big coming and that can be very scary at times, but this is huge. This is life changing and this is you healing. This is you healing and moving out of the dark once and for all and getting that really um, uh, promised start now. This is promised to you. This is, this, you're being guided to this, Leo. Seven of Swords on the bottom of the deck. It's just you're coming from some broken contracts. You're coming from some uh, heartbreak here, some real heartbreak with the Three of Swords in your in your mind space and the Seven of Swords on the bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck is always what you're coming from, what that foundation is, and it's been broken contracts. It's been broken promises. It's been people not keeping their word and um, you really just wanting to accomplish something, wanting to complete something here. So this completion is here. This, this is done. You've done it. You've done all the hard work now. Now it's time to just let it go now. Really got to go blank. Got to go blank. All right. Six of Pentacles. I want to look at this. Uh, I got to see this fool in reverse. Why is the fool come out in reverse here? Spirit? What's that all about? The Ace of Pentacles, it's just been a really battle for money or knowing which door to go through, which opportunity to seize here, which way to go here. There were some uh, options in the past, a lot coming at you, a lot you had to manage here, a lot of decisions you had to make for your well-being, for your um, uh, uh, holding on to something. You were really holding on to something here and uh, you didn't you didn't know which door to go through but that door is wide open for you now and it's only one it's only one to choose from it's not so many so don't be fearful that you're making any wrong decisions at this time you are being led through all of the right doors leo all of the right doors so you just keep doing what you're doing keep staying focused on what you're focused on here and let's see what else came out the hanged man yeah it's been a while it's been a big long time here uh 12 years 12 years wow Leo, Leo, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. No wonder you're just so tired. You're very, very exhausted. And it's all who led to this. You, you had to be this tired to reboot, to regenerate the cells here. You're changing. You're changing so much. You're coming into this massive awareness. Tell me about the Three of Swords and the Tower Spirit with the Seven of Swords just kind of crossing this, this broken contract, this a heartbreak, this real, real heartbreak. What, what was that? What caused this massive tower moment for Leo? Eight of Pentacles. Look at this. It had to do with probably your career, what you do for a living, what, what you're making in your um, a bank account. It really, it's just been tough. It's been very, very tough in the money situation here in the finances. You've been really tested with money here with the Five of Pentacles in your heart space really tested just down to bankruptcy, just down to true surrender. Oh God, Leo, if that's the case, it was the best thing. It was the best thing. You had to clean house. You had to get rid of that. You had to get rid of that poverty mentality. You can't be rich when you're thinking you're broke. You can't, it doesn't work. They're incompatible. You had to go through this lesson here, but you are on the brink of letting that poverty go, of leaving it behind the suffering when it comes to our money and our security and our worthiness. You're walking away from that. Wow, 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 real strength. I mean, you are the strength card in the major arcana, but wow, you're strong. You are so strong, Leo. Good God. Let's see the high priestess, the high priestess in the heart space. You're feeling this intuition. You're knowing you're connected to spirit now. You're knowing that the light is here. Yes, I love this, Leo. The seven of swords comes jumping out in reverse. So now these contracts are solid. Now you can count on these. You can relax in these contracts. The Pope has stepped up. The law has been written for Leo. Now no more broken contracts. If somebody has um, committed right back to you, Leo, you can count on that commitment. This is solid. This is secure. This is a new beginning when it comes to love and relationships here and um, being able to trust being able to trust again. This was all about building your trust back up, Leo. Wow. 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 You could go all in. <laughs> 
Oh, Leo, I love this commitment stepping up for you. I'm absolutely loving it. There's a divine, divine commitment stepping up for you. It is a beautiful, beautiful, trusting relationship coming to you here. My God, is this glorious. This is what it was leading up to. This commitment, this absolute commitment coming in to you for this new year. Leo, surrender to this. Surrender to this. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Tell me about this retreat. I need to see what leads up to this reset, to this moment for Leo. And it is going to be a moment for you, a moment for reset. This wants to be seen, but I don't know if they're done. <clears throat> what is that moment for Leo? Six of Swords, look at that. And the Ace of Swords, brand new beginning. And the Lovers, there's that contract. Oh my God, Leo, Leo. <clears throat> Congratulations, Leo. You're stepping up to the altar. You are committing to someone. And that could be uh, uh, any kind of relationship, but you are making a commitment. You're ready. They're ready. And yeah, <laughs> yes, partnership. You had to really be pushed here to really go all in, to really trust someone with everything you have and vice versa, vice versa. Wow, wow, wow. But you're, you're moving into a commitment and it's a big commitment in your life here. It's a big commitment. It's a big contract coming in for you. Big soulmate energy coming in for you, Leo. It's like the payoff. It's just like something, somebody. I mean, I'm, for some reason, even in my mind, I'm picturing an animal. I'm picturing like a dog or a, um, something like this even because it's that kind of love. It's that kind of bond where, um, you know, unconditional love, unconditional love real trust, real bond here. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful. Six of swords. I mean, there's that bridge. You had to go through quite, quite the journey to get here, Leo. Quite the journey to get here, but here comes the payoffs. Here comes the abundance for you. Here comes the riches for you. Here comes the relaxation for you. Here comes the fun. Here comes the fun, the celebration, the joy, the happiness. I mean, this is the happy ever after. I mean, this is it, Leo. You did it. You did it. 23 really pushed you to your wit's end. It absolutely had been leading up to this, had been gaining momentum. You look back, you, you know that that's true probably for the last 12 years. This has been gaining momentum for you. It's been gaining speed to lead up all to this moment, Leo. <laughs> wow. I'm feeling emotional for you. <laughs> yes. Yes. What's this offer? There's some kind of offer with this page of swords. Somebody that's really had their eye on you. They've learned a lot about you. They've been observing you. This is that. And here's that cat just looking right at me like uh, they're saying, don't forget the animal kingdom here because these commitments go deep. This commitment goes very, very deep with you. So I got to see, I got to see what that is. What is the page of swords all about here in the foundation? The eight of cups. Wow. 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 The four of wands again, the marriage card and the four of swords. Wow. Look at these fours. Four, four, four here. Leo. My goodness. My goodness. There's a celebration. There's a marriage here. There's a commitment coming here. There's a contract. <laughs> it is beautiful. Oh, Leo. So beautiful. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Oh, happy for you. You're going all in. You're going all in on this. It's absolutely glorious. It's uh, amazing how far you've come. Oh, God, talk about a look back. Uh, go down memory lane here, Leo. Go down memory lane and look at how far you have come here all the way to this, to this all in commitment. I'm all in, Leo says. I'm all in. <laughs> and so is, so is the recipient of you uh, unconditionally loving someone, they are unconditionally loving you back. Oh my God, love it. All right, Leo, if you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Leo, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. I'm sending you so much love and light, and I'm so excited for you, Leo. I'm really excited. I can't wait to hear what this is all about for you. All right, I will definitely tune in with you soon.